What's going on guys? It is Josh here with Buckeye Bow Hunter and today I got a pretty quick short video I want to make for you guys about my main camera setup, the Canon HFG50. I've had a bunch of people ask questions what the footage looks like and whatnot so I just wanted to kind of put a video out there compiling a bunch of footage to show you guys what you might expect out of this camera. I am not a photography expert uh, by any means, but I do think I get some pretty good footage out of this camera, uh, even in just like the base auto settings. So a lot of this is in auto, some of it is in manual because in order to use the extended zoom, you have to switch it to the manual mode, but then you can kind of run everything else auto. But with that said, let's get into what some of this footage looks like. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, Hopefully this helps you make a decision. All right, guys. So we're going to start out here with some turkey hunting footage I got from last year. Um, we're going to go through deer season. Hopefully this will be a really good variety or just example of, uh, you know, a bunch of different situations, lighting situations, colors, times of the year, and give you a good, good representation of what the Canon HF G50 can do and before we get going too far into this I'll just say all of the footage you're gonna see is in 4k unedited straight off the memory card um, no color correction no post production or anything like that just all I did was cut it and you know put in the timeline and you're seeing it straight off the camera pretty much the settings I use on my camera are all auto, I would say 95% of the time. I do switch it to that manual mode to get that uh, extended zoom every once in a while, but that 20 times optical zoom is pretty darn good. This camera's got a really good autofocus. I don't have a lot of issues with it not focusing on like the moving animal or whatever it is. It, it tends to do really well. You can see this is all using autofocus. I'm not using manual focus. It just seems to know <laughs> that there's an animal in the in the uh, frame, and I'm I'm trying to focus on it half the time. bunch of trees between me and this deer it kept it in focus really well same here this is all autofocus this was a giant deer this was like I think this was on November 1st uh, I saw this buck and I got a bunch of pictures of him throughout the entire month of November and into December I wanted to I wanted to shoot this buck pretty bad, but never had another opportunity after this. But just really good color. Really good detail. See every single blade of grass. It's got a really good depth of field. You can, you know, you can change all of that if you like this look where the, the background is a little blurred out. raccoons moving through in low light. This is all autofocus as well. I just thought this was a pretty shot. Really windy day. Here's a low light clip for you. This buck was probably 80, 90 yards out in a field. For such a small camera, it does pretty well. Really good detail, zooming in on things. Here's another really low light video. This buck was probably 200 yards out in a bean field from me. And you may not know it, but you're never gonna get footage like this out of like a cell phone or a smaller smaller size camera just because 
the size of the lens. This has a 58 millimeter lens, which is pretty big and allows the camera to capture a ton of light which is gonna make a lot better video compared to cameras with smaller lenses. Some of these cameras with really big lenses that let in a ton of light, you know, at 1080p, it's gonna look better than a 4K camera with a smaller lens. That's just how it is. You can do those cool, like, out of focus shots where you focus in just like you saw there. This, I believe I was trying to use the manual focus. Birds, it does have a little bit of trouble focusing in on birds just because they're so small and move so quick. Pretty shot though. Really good detail. I mean, you can see the freaking spider webs blowing around in the wind on the bark here. It's uh, pretty sweet. See the ripples on the, on the uh, creek here really well. Every blade of grass. Just a nice camera. It does really well. And like I said, it's dummy proof. Like, turn it to auto and, and point and shoot. This was some of my favorite footage of the entire year. This was, this was so beautiful to me. This buck walking through this grass with the sunlight the way it was and then he stopped for a drink here. I thought it was so cool. If you are into filming, you know, and you're and you're on the fence about a camera like this, I would definitely recommend it. It's just a really nice camera. You can see the quality of footage that it takes, you know, based on all these clips I just showed you. And, you know, it's small, again, compact. Uh, just a really good camera for self-filmers, in my opinion. This was some really cool footage here. Zoom way in on this little button buck. Probably maxed out the 20 times zoom in this video. But you can see the breath coming out of his nose. And And if you're not into self-filming, I would recommend getting into it just because it does add another layer and it's difficult, but it's, it's, you know, at least for me, it's very rewarding, you know, being able to come back and look at this cool footage like this and know that I took it. It's just something to enjoy. Yeah, with that said, I, you know, if you're on the fence about this camera, I, I hope this helped you make a decision um, either way. And uh, I really appreciate you guys joining me for this one. Um, as always, you know, hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like stuff like this. Um, hit the notification bell too. Make sure when you hit it, you go down and you, you switch it to all. Sometimes it's not set at that. So if you switch it to all, you'll get, all, you'll get notified every time one of my videos posts. Um, but besides that, you know, I appreciate it again. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned for a whole bunch of turkey hunting content here about to start up. So appreciate you guys.